Summer Bear Life Balance Education and Salt Lake Community College present the Mockingjay players in The Hunger Games Catching Fire Radio Drama. Katniss has just found out that she will be going back into the games as tribute. She is convinced that this is no coincidence, but thinks that it is an attempt by the capital to destroy her and calm the rebelling districts. Hey, Mitch. Ah, there she is. All tuckered out. Finally did the math, did you, sweetheart? Worked out you won't be going in alone? And now you're here to ask me what? I'll admit, it was easier for the boy. He was here before I could snap the seal on a bottle, begging me for another chance to go in. But what can you say? Take his place, Hamish, because all things being equal, I'd rather PETA had a crack at the rest of his life than you. I came for a drink. Maybe it should be you. You hate life anyway. Very true. And since last time I tried to keep you alive, seems like I'm obligated to save the boy this time. That's another good point. Peta's argument is that since I chose you, I now owe him anything he wants. And what he wants is the chance to go in again to protect you. You could live a hundred lifetimes, Cadness, and not deserve him, you know. Yeah, yeah. No question. He's the superior one in this trio. So, what are you going to do? I don't know. Go back in with you, maybe. If I can. But if my name's drawn at the reaping, it won't matter. He'll just volunteer to take my place. It would be bad for you in the arena, wouldn't it? Knowing all the others? Oh, I think we can count on it being unbearable wherever I am. Can I have that back now? No. Okay, I'll open another one. Okay. I figured out what I'm asking. If it's Peta and me in the games, this time we try to keep him alive. Like you said, it's going to be bad no matter how you slice it. And whatever Peta wants, it's his turn to be saved. We both owe him that. Oh, besides, the Capitol hates me so much. I'm as good as dead now. He still might have a chance. Please, Hamish. Please say you'll help me. All right. Thanks. I'm going home now. I was wrong. We should have gone when you said. It's not too late. Yeah, it is. There, it's done. What's done? I poured all the liquor down the drain. You what? It's gone. He'll just buy more. No, he won't. I tracked down Ripper this morning and told her I'd turn her in the second she sold to either of you. I paid her off, too, just for good measure, but I don't think she's eager to be back in the Peacekeeper's custody. (sighs) What business is it of yours what he does? It's completely my business. Two of us are going to be in the arena again with the other as mentor. We can't afford any drunks on this team. Especially not you, Katniss. What? Last night was the only time I've ever even been drunk. Don't worry, Hamish. I'll get you more liquor. Then I'll turn you both in. Let you sober up in the stocks. What's the point to this? The point is that two of us are coming home from the capital. One mentor and one victor. Effie's sending me recordings on all the living victors. We're going to watch their games and learn everything we can about how they fight. We're going to put on weight and get strong. We're going to start acting like careers. And one of us is going to be victor again, whether you two like it or not. You and me. That's who he plans on coming home. Well then, the joke's on him. Another reaping day. Only this time, I don't have to wonder if my name will be drawn. Only who will be going in with me, Hamish or Peta. 
It'd be better if he were easier to hate. Tell me about it. If I could have just hated him in the arena, we all wouldn't be in this mess now. He'd be dead, and I'd be a happy little victor all by myself. And where would we be, Cadness? Hunting, like every Sunday. Welcome to the reaping of the 75th annual Hunger Games. And may the odds be ever in your favor. As always, girls first. Mm. 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 Katniss Everdeen. And now for the boy, Hamish Abernathy. I volunteer. Move it. I get to say my goodbyes now. New procedure. We go right now. We'll write letters, Katniss. It'll be better anyway. Gives our loved ones a piece of us to hold on to. Hamish will deliver them for us if... if they need to be delivered. Yeah. We'll... we'll write letters. I love your new hair, Effie. Thank you. I had it especially done to match Katniss's pin. I was thinking we might get you a golden ankle band and maybe find Hamish a gold bracelet or something so that we can look like a team. I think that's a great idea. How about it, Hamish? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, Katniss! I can't believe they picked you! <laughs> It's not like there was much choice in the matter. She was the only girl victor in District 12. <laughs> the odds are not in her or Peter's favor. I will never get to go to that wedding. <laughs> this is just horrible. <laughs> I think you look beautiful. We will always remember you. We'll get Santa. <laughs> I swear, if you cry, I'm going to kill you right now. Had a damp morning. Ugh, you could ring me out. Don't worry. I always channel my emotions into my work. That way I don't hurt my anyone but myself. I can't go through that again. I know. I'll talk to them. So, what are we wearing for the opening ceremonies? Headlamps or fire? <laughs> Something along that line. Wow! How did you do this? I look just like a piece of coal burning. Portia and I spend a lot of hours watching fires. Now look at yourself. I think this is just what I needed to face the others. Yeah, I think your days of pink lipstick and ribbons are behind you. Let's not run down your power pack. When you're on the chariot this time, no waving, no smiling. I just want you to look straight ahead as if the entire audience is beneath your notice. Finally, something I'll be good at. I have some things that I need to finish, but you go on down to the ground floor. Last year, everyone was quiet and didn't talk to anyone. Look at them all this year. It looks like a party. I wonder where Peta and Hamish are. Hello, Katniss. Oh, hello, Finnick. Want a sugar cube? They're supposed to be for the horses, but who cares? They've got years to eat sugar, whereas you and I, well, if we see something sweet, we better grab it quick. No thanks. I'd love to borrow your outfit sometime, though. You're absolutely terrifying me with that getup. What happened to that pretty little girl in the dresses? I outgrew them. Too bad about this quell thing. You could have made out like a bandit in the capital. Jewels, money, anything you wanted. I don't like jewels. And I have more money than I need. What do you spend all of yours on anyway, Finnick? <laughs> oh, I haven't dealt in anything as common as money for years. Then how do they pay you for the pleasure of your company? With secrets. What about you, girl on fire? Do you have any secrets worth my time? No. I'm an open book. 
Everybody seems to know my secrets before I know them myself. Unfortunately, I think that's true. Peta's coming. Sorry you have to cancel your wedding. I know how devastating that must be for you. <laughs> what did Finnico dare want? He offered me sugar and wanted to know all my secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Seriously. I'll tell you more when my skin stops crawling. Do you think we'd have ended up like this if, you know, if only one of us had won? Just another part of the freak show? Sure. Especially you. Oh? And why especially me? Because you have a weakness for beautiful things, and I don't. They would lure you in into their capital ways, and you'd be lost entirely. Hey, having an eye for beauty isn't the same thing as a weakness. Well, except possibly when it comes to you. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> Hold still. Let me straighten your crown. Have you seen your suit turned on? We're going to be fabulous again. We'll look like deities from a volcano, living and deadly as fire. Here are your quarter quell tributes. That was wonderful! You guys were great as always. Hey guys, come over here and meet Chaff and Cedar from District 11. Cedar, what happened to Ruin Thresh's families? They're alive. Move over, Cedar. It's my turn to say hello. <laughs> oh, Chaff! I like the gold bangle, Hamish. Hey, is that the one Effie got for you? Yes, it is. Let's get out of here, Peta. Now, hold the elevator. Thanks. Ugh, isn't my costume awful? My stylist is the biggest idiot in the capital. District 7 tributes have been trees for 40 years under her. Wish I'd gotten Cinna. You look fantastic. Peta, can you unzip me? What is she doing? She's taking off her clothing right in front of Peta and me. Yeah, you should see what she can do with Velvet. <laughs> I have. On your tour, Katniss, the strapless number you wore in District 2, the deep blue one with diamonds. So gorgeous, I wanted to reach through the screen and tear it right off your back. I bet you did. <laughs> oh, that's better. Just getting that horrible thing off is such an improvement. Peta, I love your paintings. They're right out of the games. It is amazing what you can do with paint. Here's my stop. See you tomorrow in training. <laughs> what? It's you, Katniss. Can't you see? What's me? Why they're all acting like this. Finnick with his sugar cubes. Chaff kissing you and that whole thing with Joanna stripping down. They're playing with you because you're so... You know. No, I don't know. It's like when you wouldn't look at me naked in the arena, even though I was half dead. You're so... pure. I am not! I've been practically ripping your clothes off every time there's been a camera for the last year. Yeah, but... I mean, for the capital, you're pure. For me, you're perfect. They're just teasing you. No, they're laughing at me, and so are you! Katniss... I'm going to bed. Forget what you think you know about the games. Last year was child's play. This year, you're dealing with experienced killers. Today in training, you've got two jobs. One, stay in love. Obviously. And two, make some friends. No, I don't trust any of them. I can't stand most of them. And I'd rather operate with just the two of us. It won't be enough. You're gonna need more allies this time around, Katniss. Why? Because you're at a distinct disadvantage. Your competitors have known each other for years. So who do you think they're going to target first? Us. And nothing we do is going to override old friendship. You can fight. You're popular with the crowd. That can make you desirable allies. But only if you let the others know you're willing to team up with them. Now get going. I think we should split up. That way we will talk with more people and let Hamish know we are at least trying. Okay. I'll go throw spears with Brutus and Chaff. Okay. I'm going to go learn new knots. Very good, Katniss. Now try the compound double coin knot. I almost got it, but this last part... Let me help you out. Place this end here and then presto, it's done. Thanks. I have another knot you might like to watch. 
I see he's making a noose. <laughs> That's funny, Finnick. You should be hanged for all the broken hearts you left in the capital. I've got to go learn something else now. Bye, Finnick. Very good fire with the matches, Katniss. Now, try to make one with the flint and steel. Come on, you can do this. I did it! And it only took me an hour. <sighs> oh, hello, Iris. Beady. Katniss, hello. That is her way of saying hello, and how are you doing? I'm good. What do you do when you're not tributes in the games? Uh, we both invent things. I have a stitching machine. It senses the density of fabrics and selects the strength of... The strength of the thread. Automatically. It rules out human error. Look. Yes, it's Plutarch Heavensby eating a turkey leg. He's been promoted to head game maker. No, no. There by the corner of the table. You can just... Just make it out. What? I don't see any... Oh! That rippling spot. What is it? A force field. They've set up between the game makers and us. I wonder what brought that on. Me. Last year, I shot an arrow at them during my private training session. You shot an arrow? I was provoked. So, do all force fields have a spot like that? Chink. In the armor, as it were. Ideally, it'd be invisible, wouldn't it? Yes. But you can see it, and it becomes a chink, or a weak spot. Oh, I see. Well, it was nice talking with you. I need to see what PETA's doing. Bye, BT. Lyris. How's it going? Good. Fine. I like the District 3 victors, Wyrus and Beatty. Really? There's something of a joke to the others. Why does that not surprise me? Joanna's nicknamed them Nuts and Volts. I think she's Nuts and he's Volts. And so I'm stupid for thinking that they might be useful because of something Joanna Mason said while she was oiling up her breasts for wrestling? <laughs> Actually, I think the nickname's been around for years. And I didn't mean that as an insult, I'm just sharing information. It can just be you and me, you know. I know. But maybe Hamish is right. Well, you can have final say about our allies, okay? Okay. But now I'm going to go shoot some arrows. So at least half the victors have instructed their mentors to request you as an ally. I know it can't be your sunny personality. They saw her shoot. Actually, I saw her shoot for real for the first time. I'm about to put in a formal request myself. You're that good? So good that Brutus wants you? But I don't want Brutus. I want Mags in District 3. Of course you do. I'll tell everybody you're still making up your mind. Anyways, tomorrow's your private session. Whatever you do, try to surprise them. Decided what to do for the game makers yet? I can't really use them for target practice this year with a force field up and all. Maybe make some of Mags fish hooks. What about you? <laughs> Not a clue. I keep wishing I could bake a cake or something. Do some more camouflage. The Morphlings from District 6 leave me anything to work with. They've been glued to that station since training started. How are we going to kill these people, Peta? I don't know. I don't want them as allies. Why did Hamish want us to get to know them? It, it'll make it so much harder than the last time. Except for Rue, maybe. Hers was the most awful death, wasn't it? How will Peta and Katniss impress the game makers? Will they form any alliances? Find out next week on part five of Hunger Games Catching Fire radio drama. Until then, may the odds be ever in your favor. 